what's up YouTube we have another video today of a frog look here in this uh, little container I have here this is not a common tree frog that we have around here this is the less common tree frog the ones we have around here most of the time are called the American green tree frog this one is actually the gray tree frog and uh, this one's color is a little bit more towards the green side but <clears throat> They can range in uh, color from gray all the way to green, and they've got a very strong camouflage. If you can see the uh, contrast of the two colors, he's got darker and the lighter, all patches all over his back and sides. If you look on his legs, he's got these uh, long stripes, these bands on his legs, and that's a characteristic of this frog. And one thing you can't see here on the back, on the back of his little legs here, he actually has a yellow spot, and that's very distinguishing uh, characteristic that's unique to this tree frog. Okay, and this is a full grown one. They get between an inch and a half to two inches long and this one's full grown. So this one was probably born last year and now that uh, spring is here, it's out hunting at night. Now because it is a tree frog, that means it's arboreal. They live almost exclusively in trees. Only time they come down to the ground is when they're hunting for food sometimes, but mostly when they're trying to hunt for a mate, when they're trying to look for a, a male or a female to breed. Okay, and now the thing about these guys are they're some of the loudest singers outside and uh, at night when they're trying to sing for the female, uh, the males are the only ones that sing. The females do not, right? And so these little dudes will get up in the trees and they'll sing and sing and sing and they're very loud and they'll attract the females. And as this is an amphibian, of course, toads and frogs are amphibians. And as a frog, they uh, lay their eggs in water and they're born in the water as tadpoles. And then they emerge out of the water as full grown frogs or toads, depending on what we got, but this is a frog. Then they go live their lives. So these guys are, are born in the water, and then after they come out, they go and live their lives in the tree. What was cool about tonight is uh, I'm in down here by Lake Livingston, and it's a rainy night. And I was out walking on the street, and I felt something jump on my foot. And we flashed down, and sure enough, it was this little frog. He was out in the street, uh, and he had jumped on my foot. And even in the dark, I knew that he was some kind of uh, uh, frog that wasn't like, like a Gulf Coast toad, those things are all over the place. Well, I knew this one was special because I could feel the stickiness of him. And uh, sure enough, once I got him in here, we could see. So I'm going to see if I can touch him. He's very, very active and he's very uh, sticky. So let's see if I can pick him up and show you him a little bit better. Let's see if the little guy's going to let me do it. Okay, so here he is. You can see, as I said, uh, he's got these little pads on his feet that make him incredibly sticky. He can stick to any substance, glass, plastic, wood, metal. He's really good. Like, look at the way he's sticking to my finger. And um, they are nocturnal, so they only come out at night. And, like, we were walking in the rain, so we found it tonight in the rain, uh, but at nighttime, right? So anyway, we're going to take this little dude and turn him free out in the trees. I don't want to keep him as a pet or anything. I don't, I, like I always say at the end, I talk about keeping it wild. When I say that, I mean that I, if I find a wild animal, I'm going to keep it wild. I'm going to take it and turn it free because that's, if it's a wild animal, it needs to stay wild, right? So we're going to take this little thing and turn him free. He's just incredibly cool. And one detail about this frog too, I think is the, the coolest thing is, um, most reptiles and amphibians cannot change colors. They're one color and they stay that way. This one can actually slowly change his color from a light, almost white color to a very dark gray to almost black color, depending on where he is. If he's on a dark tree, a light tree, he can slowly, very slowly change his color. So if he's on my finger long enough, he might actually lighten up. And in this light, he looks like he's almost getting lighter. So it takes a very long time though. They're very slow and they said they actually change slower than chameleons do. So very cool frog, very cool thing. I'm so glad I got to show this one on the channel. I have not seen many of these in the wild. They're camouflaged so well. We rarely see them and because they are nocturnal. Only time you'll ever see them is at night. So anyway, we're gonna take this little dude and turn him free. So we'll show you that in just a second. All right, guys, we're out here in the rain, and uh, look right here. This is a Gulf Coast toad. Just by comparison, I want to show you how different it looks from the gray tree frog. Even though they both are gray, that one is a frog. This one's a toad, and the, uh, they don't—they can't stick. And there he goes. Look at this little dude right here. The colorations are very different. He's got almost black on him, but because he was very close to gray, how oh, he's gone. I wanted to show you the difference. 
All right, guys, we're out here with the uh, uh, Greg Tree Frog, and you see I got the umbrella. It is raining, so I'm gonna walk over here to the closest tree and just put it on. So here we go. Go ahead, little one, get on that tree. Look at that yellow right there. That's pretty cool. All right, and we're just gonna leave it there. Okay, so for me and the uh, Greg Tree Frog, as we always say, keep it wild. <laughs>